In this video, I'm going to discuss about the watchdog timer of the microcontroller. Many microcontroller systems are used in harsh environment conditions like uh, voltage transients, electromagnetic interference, electrostatic discharge, and these conditions will corrupt the instructions of the microcontroller. Watchdog timer is a hardware count down timer that is used for detecting the software error and resets the microcontroller. When the watchdog timer is enabled, it will generate a microcontroller reset or interrupt if the user program fails to reload the watchdog timer within a predetermined amount of time. It is the application's responsibility to reload the watchdog timer value each time before it reaches the zero, otherwise the watchdog timer will reset the uh, microcontroller system. Here you can see the watchdog timer is used as external peripheral uh, where it is not available on the on-chip uh, microcontroller and in present microcontrollers the watchdog timer is available on on chip and uh, the application will reload the watchdog timer value and this process is known as kicking the watchdog uh, timer or feeding the watchdog timer here you can see this is the uh, lpc23 uh, series microcontroller from nxp semiconductor so this is the block diagram and this is having watchdog timer on on chip and uh, this watchdog timer can be clocked from uh, three uh, sources it can be clocked either from internal rc oscillator of the microcontroller or rtc oscillator that is real time clock oscillator or from the apb clock that is advanced peripheral bus this is with respect to uh, lpc23 uh, series microcontroller and this microcontroller is having four sources for reset uh, it can be reset uh, from reset pin of the microcontroller or uh, through watchdog uh, timer or uh, through power on reset and uh, through brownout uh, detection. And whenever uh, the microcontroller uh, reset uh, using the uh, watchdog timer, the program counter will start from zero as in case of external reset pin. So here you can see the block diagram of uh, the watchdog timer with respect to the LPC23 uh, uh, series microcontroller. So it is having uh, three options for uh, clock to the watchdog timer, so RTC oscillator or uh, APB bus or internal RC oscillator and it is also having a prescaler and it is a 32 uh, bit uh, counter and the value uh, with respect to the watchdog time need to be loaded in WDTC register and whenever uh, the program starts the watchdog timer it starts decrementing and whenever it reaches to uh, zero so the, it resets the microcontroller so it is the application responsibility uh, to prevent uh, the so watchdog timer counter uh, reaches the zero value here we can consider a simple uh, formula cal calculating the watchdog timer period so which is given by the uh, time period of uh, the watchdog uh, clock into watchdog uh, counter value so if we uh, having some prescaler value that should also be multiplied here i have not considered uh, here the prescaler and if watchdog timer clock we have selected as 4 megahertz and the counter value if you select as 10,000. So the watchdog timer period is 0 0.25 uh, microsecond into 10,000 so which is coming around 2.5 millisecond and if the watchdog timer is enabled in the microcontroller and if the application program are not able to uh, reload the watchdog timer uh, within uh, 2.5 millisecond due to some uh, software error then the watchdog timer will reset uh, your microcontroller. So this is the uh, example code of uh, loading the watchdog uh, counter value. So this is the program for reading the sensors and controlling the motors and displaying the status on the LCD. So this is the infinite loop. So this is the infinite loop and uh, this uh, value is uh, that is a watchdog time, timer value is loaded every time in the loop if some error uh, occurs and if uh, value is not loaded then this condition will cause the uh, microcontroller to reset thank you for watching my video